Hi everyone. Sorry for the slight noise in the background, but my garage is a bit too hot and I have the garage door open. So hopefully I can knock this video out real quick for you. A lot of people have been asking questions. Is uh, First question is, this is uh, actually the first thing is, this is a, a two week review of the Troxy X5SA Pro uh, 3D printer. As you can see here, this is it's quite big. It has a print area of 400 by 330 by 330. And the uh, print bed is removable. And you hook it up by these clips on there. There's four of them on there. It has this, when you get it, it has this bluish green stuff on it. Filament or something like that. Not filament, but uh, I don't know what it is. Some type of layer. And I asked them about that. They said you can either leave it on or take it off. Doesn't matter. Comes with a 24 volt power system. Uh, oh yeah, people have asked, is there insulation in the bottom? Yes, there's insulation in the bottom of the heat bed. Uh, back here is the new Titan extruder that comes with the unit. That's different than the regular version. Uh, here's the main difference. As you can see right here, this is the new rail system. You can see how it runs right over there. There's one over here. You see here. And let me switch hands so you can see the one over here. Well, I don't know if you can see it or not, but we'll see. Yeah, right here. You see right there. Okay. I ordered this from uh, GearBest.com. It took about six days to get here from uh, China since they weren't selling it in the U.S. yet. I don't know if they are yet. Uh, shipping was like, you know, like I said, six days, pretty fast. Uh, people have asked in this unit, is it sturdy? Yeah, it's basically the same as the, uh, as the regular version of this. Uh, the only difference here is, like I said, is the new rail system. This bar is new because it has a new rail on it. This is new. This is new. This is new. Uh, also, I uh, believe the pulleys are new. Some people have asked me about it. And I did ask them, and they said these pulleys are, new, are on this new version, on this Pro. Uh, was it hard to assemble? Yes, it was. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, the instructions were there. The only problem is, uh, after you get it done, they forgot one vital thing, and... Uh, and it, it's a new rail system. I'll tell you about that later. What, uh, why it was a problem. Uh, of course, there's an issue when you turn it on. Like, my fans were a little loud. I had to put some uh, pieces of rubber in, in the corners here to make sure to dampen the vibrations and stuff like that. Uh, my first print attempt failed. Second print, print, print event uh, failed. It's because my nozzle, the was clogging up all the time. Uh, here are the times when it failed. That's one. Here's another time where it failed. This is a temperature tower. It just I was having issues with the nozzle and the Bowden tube, I think. So I, after my friend came over, we adjusted it. We did all the proper things, uh, making sure it's clean inside there, making sure the... Uh, the Bowden tube was, was uh, incorrectly. We, of course, had the hot end on on several attempts with the uh, nozzle in three quarters of the way, and we put the Bowden tube in. As a matter of fact, we, we cut the Bowden tube with a Bowden cutting tool, put it in there, and then, and then screwed on the, uh, the nozzle. Again, it worked for a minute and then clogged up again. We couldn't understand it. So we gave up on that. And uh, sorry for the extra noise, but I'm, like I said, I'm in the garage and it's too hot to close the door. So uh, so what we did is we put a new nozzle in and a new boating tube. And it, the printing was pretty good. Uh, here's one of the prints right here. However, one thing that we're noticing that I noticed, and here's another print right here. I showed it to you right here. Here's one, two. And finally, this one came out nice, even even better. Was my it wasn't doing a circle right, and I couldn't figure out why. And I called them up. A man called them up. I, I sent a message to them. I said, "Look, 
uh, what's the issue here? And I asked him again, because first time I asked, I asked him about the rail system, uh, that how do you adjust the wheels on it? How do you make them go further apart? They had told me it's set at the factory, that, that everything is set right, you don't have to adjust anything. But I said it was tight. And then the first time they kind of blew my, you know, you know, they didn't give me a proper answer. But the second time I messaged, I got someone that knew about it. And he said it should have been in the manual, but it wasn't. So what he did is he made a video really quick on the spot, sent it to me on how to adjust this rail system. And it's basically just removing the set screws and then turning this kind of clockwise or clockwise to adjust to adjust it in and out. Once I was able to adjust this here, this ran nice and smooth right now. Only problem is on this side, you could do the same, but in the front, in the nozzle part, which has, you see right there, you can get to this, the back of this wheel here. Unfortunately, do you see this metal plate? This metal plate extends for some reason down over most of that back of that wheel screw to get to you cannot physically get to the set screws you have to disassemble everything here that was put together by the factory out the plate out these these, these nuts here that go across to the other side out you have to disassemble everything so that you can adjust those okay that was a design flaw on their part they should have somehow it made that back of that exposed okay however it doesn't stop the functionality of the printer just you have to it takes you just longer to adjust it and believe me if it's too tight or too loose you need to adjust the rail system perfectly once i adjusted the rail system my prints became even better this is the print right here you can see it's a circle you know came out good I mean, even though the edges, I haven't cleaned any of these parts, so you can see like an edge right there. But I haven't cleaned anything, like even this here. Uh, this here is my uh, temperature tower that I did. That came out great. This is after I finally got it to run right. Uh, here is a, a plate, which this is the one I tried. And this is a successful one, finally. Printed out very good. Then, of course, I printed the classic. I'll put it up here so you can see it. This is a classic. That's a direct print on this. I haven't cleaned that up in any way. So, as you can see right there, it printed good and I said well I've tested this and the reason I bought it was yes one of the main reasons was of course I was hoping this rail system would like because it's so big and the rail system would uh, make more accuracy which I think it is but size the fact that it does 400 was I needed it to do 400 this here I put it on the table here quite tall you can see how tall it is from, uh, you know, I believe this, I printed it at, uh, what was this, at like 390 millimeters or something like that. It printed exactly, exactly how I wanted it to print. That print, I only printed it at, uh, at 60 millimeter speed, I believe it was, or whatever the heck you call it, speed. And uh, it took, so I think 33 hours and 30 minutes to print that. But you gotta remember, this was a big print. This was a big print, okay? It printed it very, very good. I have no complaints with that print whatsoever. Uh, if you're wondering, that's a, 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 for, sorry, a submarine, a six foot submarine I'm making. I have to make it in pieces for remote control. That's the main reason why I bought this printer because I wanted to print bigger pieces for that ship. And uh, yeah, what else here? Uh, 
talked about the oh yeah the belt system once once I uh, relieve the motors from all the pressure of moving a tight system uh, the belt this one belt in particular had loosened from using all that power and that's why you have to make sure that this rail system is nice and smooth going across okay you have to make sure that's not tight of course it'll be tight with the belts on it yes but without the belts on it make sure to test the, the movement of the rails without the belt make sure they're moving tight and make sure they don't wiggle when you do it you know it's all important and then once you do that tighten the set screws in and that's it uh, I the it has a 24 volt power uh, supply I think come I'm not sure but I think it comes with the same one as the uh, 2019 regular X5 SA but I'm not again I'm not sure on that one I never asked him about that uh, the frame is is exactly like the other one it's like the regular one except for these three top bars this one the middle one and this other one are different than the than the uh, regular version I believe the pulleys are also different oh yeah uh, people always ask me what's metal on this and uh, basically the, the only plastic or acrylic that I can see on here is here this looks like an ABS type thing of course let's see well, I think that's metal uh, Oh, this is metal. People said that this was acrylic before. And I don't know if this was acrylic. Like, this is metal. And the only thing acrylic is this plate in the back for the motor over there. And one back here. That's the only thing acrylic. People have already told me to replace it with a metal one, which I will. And this is metal here. This has an auto leveling, leveling system, I guess, like the regular version. As well, no real difference there. Uh, like I said, the only thing I replaced was a, a nozzle and a Bowden tube. That's all I replaced. Those are like a couple do like a couple dollars, literally. So, and it's working great now. So I figured just the like, one off with the nozzle that just came bad. Uh, let's see. Uh, I can't think of anything else. Uh, I'm probably missing a lot of things. But the main thing is, does it print correctly? Yes, once you adjust uh, the rail system correctly, it will print very smooth. I mean, how loud is it? Eh, it's, you know, the fans are a bit loud. I, I'm, I'm going to be replacing them like I replaced them on all my printers with Noctua fans. Uh, for this one here, if you do replace it with a Noctua fans, like these fans here and the one down there and the one over there. If you do replace them, make sure to buy a, a 24 volt to 12 volt stepper, uh, converter, whatever you call it, not stepper, but converter, so that uh, the step down the voltage from 24 to 12 volts, or else you're gonna burn out your fans. And what else here? That's about it, I mean, if someone has a question, go ahead and ask in the, bo in the bottom. Uh, I know one of the questions are going to be asked, if you went to buy it again, would you buy it? Heck, if I had the money, I would buy another one. But I don't, because I, it'd make it even easier to print stuff. I'd have a second one. But, uh, yeah. Now, I don't know about the durability of this sheet thing here in the top of this. It looks like some type of build tech type of surface. Uh... They shouldn't be too expensive to replace. So if you do, do see them out there, just, you know, you can buy them probably off, off of Truxy directly or on eBay or Amazon probably. As to whether uh, some people have asked me about glass. Well, I checked around and my understanding is with this setup here with this automatic uh, leveler, the, the glass surface won't work. Some people have said they put like a, a metal in between the glass you know or something I don't know it, it just right now until they make one official one that works with the uh, leveling system or you can replace a leveling system with a different one that works on glass 
that's one way of doing it. But right now, this is fine. This, this stuff right here. And what else here? Uh, I haven't, yeah, I haven't, I haven't hit any of the wires yet, or any. I didn't put the blue stuff on here yet. I'm going to. Like I said, I'm still in the testing stages. Actually, I'm done with the testing stages. Really, it's done testing. It, it runs good. Uh, I will be replacing, like I said, the fans. I already ordered them. I, may ha I have them. I just haven't put it on yet. And I'll, I'll be replacing the belts with, uh, I guess, genuine rubber belts. I'm not sure if these are rubber belts or not. They don't feel like rubber, but I mean, if they are, I'll, I'm going to basically be using them until they break, or have it, or there's an issue with printing that that the belts are causing. But uh, until then, I'll be using them, and then if, and then I'll buy rubber ones if I have to. Then later. Uh, that's about it. If anyone has any questions, please ask away.